Hey, Miss Q's class. So because you had a field study last week, and because I'm going to be testing fifth grade students this week, I'm afraid I'm not going to actually be able to be in your classroom. There will be a substitute teacher, and she has all of these supplies, and she's going to know what to do, and Miss Q is going to help be able to help too. But I wanted to show you what it is that you're going to be doing for your class, for your last project. You are going to be making a small watercolor painting but you're going to be using some special pencils. They look like normal uh, regular color pencils but they're actually paint. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do and Miss Q is going to help you guys get started on drawing and then on Thursday when it's actually time for art you get to turn them into paint. So you're going to get a small piece of paper. This isn't a very big paper, it's pretty small. It is also special paper. This is watercolor paint paper. It's for watercolors. It makes it easier to use and makes the paper, I'm sorry, the paints don't mess up the paper. So the first thing we're going to do, like you see in my picture, is we're going to draw our pollinator. You guys still so you guys had a special pollinator that you drew, that you learned about. It could be a bee, it could be a bird. I've heard people say they did bats. It might be like a ladybug. I drew a butterfly here. You're going to draw your pollinator on your page. But we also need to make sure that we have flowers. You probably wanna have some bushes or trees, and then we're gonna do the sky. So I'm going to use a regular pencil first and draw. First, I'm going to draw, I'm gonna draw a different kind of flower. I don't know if anybody knows what kind of flower this one is. It's a tulip, anybody knows those? But I'm still going to draw the bushes or flowers behind it. And this is where we're going to start to use the special pencils. Again, I know they look like regular pencils, but watch. First, we're going to color with them. And make sure you're not coloring over your pollinator. I'm also not going to color over All right, when you've done your sky, make sure your sky goes all the way down to your ground. Now I'm gonna work on the rest. All right, before I show you the paint, we're gonna also talk about what happens if you are not using your paintbrush correctly. So let's, I'm gonna draw a quick little bush. When you start to paint, you're gonna get a little bit of water in a cup and you're gonna get a paintbrush. You're gonna dip it in there, doesn't need a lot, and you can start using, when you put the water on top of the paint or the colors it starts to make it into paint Ta -da. but if you just take your paintbrush and you just go over everything like this you're just gonna mix up all of your colors and that's not what we're doing when you start to paint yours you need to go slowly carefully it's like you're recoloring it with another pencil, really. I'm trying to make sure that my paintbrush doesn't go into the other colors. I'm gonna get a little more water. I'm gonna go back over it. Ta-da! I'm gonna do the same thing down here. Now, because I just did that guy, I'm gonna come over here and do my sun 
but I'm not going to color or paint the sky just yet because the paper's still wet, but that paper's gonna dry. So I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna do my red tulip. Ta-da. And my bur uh, butter, he's not a bird, he's a butterfly. Butterfly's already getting pretty close to being dry, so I'm gonna come back over here and now I can start working on all of this sky. But remember, you're making sure that your paintbrush doesn't go inside of your other things. So I'm just gonna try and only stick to the blue. So today, Wednesday, you're gonna start by just drawing your pollinator and a flower and filling up your little page. Also, write your name in a corner so that we know where it is, on the back of the paper, not in the front. Don't paint, or don't, don't write your name where you're gonna paint. And then on Thursday, you'll get the color, the watercolor pencils, and you guys will get to start painting them. Thanks, guys.